Hi, my name's James here at the Dartford Training Centre and today we're going to talk about Megaflow. Today we'll be looking at the three tiers of safety found on all unvented cylinders. The three tiers of safety are all about heat. As soon as you heat water, it wants to expand and we need to be able to control the temperature of the water and deal with expansion when it happens. So the first tier of safety is the thermostat. That will stop the water getting too hot. The second level of safety would be the overheat stat or the energy cutoff, which will deal with the temperature if it gets too high and the thermostat fails. The third level is the temperature and pressure relief valve which if the other two fail, will then deal with overpressurization. The first level of safety is the thermostat. This should be set at 60, 65 degrees to combat any buildup of Legionella. The second is the ECO, the energy cutoff, what we might call the high limit stat. This will be set at 80, 85 degrees. Third is our temperature and pressure relief valve. That will be set at 90, 95 degrees and 10 bar of pressure. If you notice, there are two thermostats and two energy cutoffs on this cylinder. The first is for the element, the direct side. The second is for the boiler, the indirect side. Let's have a look at our temperature and pressure release valve. Take the cover off. Uh, we can put a spanner on there, there are two flat sides for a spanner, and it will spin out. To change this part, we'll need to drain the cylinder. As you can see, there's a long bar that comes out the back end. That's for the temperature. This also acts as a PRV. As this heats up, when it reaches 90 to 95 degrees, the rod inside will expand and it will push it full open so you get four bore water escaping from there to relieve the pressure buildup. Dripping in our tun dish could be a sign our temperature and pressure relief valve needs changing. It could be a sign of overpressurization if it's cold. If it's hot, it could be a sign of high temperature. Always remember, replace with genuine parts. Here we are at a rig, and this will demonstrate what happens if the three tiers of safety are compromised and what generally happens with all the safety devices as we go along. So the first thing we need to do is have some water and have some power. So the power and the water are on, and this is where we start. So if we look here, our water pressure is very good. It's just over five bar at Dartford. Our heater is on. Um, you can see the light on, so we're heating up. That's our temperature gauge. We'll see we're starting at quite a low temperature. And this is our gauge after our pressure reducer. Our pressure reducer is set at 3.5 bar. And as we can see, 3.5. So everything is working fine. So the temperature's going up slowly, and as the temperature goes up, the water will expand. The expansion has been taken up by the expansion vessel, and the pressure reducer will keep the pressure down so we don't overpressurize. So what happens if we start to lose certain safety devices on this? So let us get rid of our pressure reducer first off. So we look at our pressure reducer, all of a sudden, we've gone from 3.5 to over five bar now. So our pressure has already gone up beyond where we want it to be. But that's okay, we're still heating the water. As you see, that needle's slowly going up. We still have our expansion vessel. We still have other safety devices on here. We have our PRV and we have our TMP valve. So what happens if we lose the ability to take up the expansion of the water? As you can see, our temperature's rising, but you'll also see the pressure rising quite fast. 
This is our PRV valve set to six bar. If we look at our pressure, we're almost there. Starting to drip. So we are dealing with the overpressurization. So our pressure won't go above six bar because our PRV is releasing that pressure when it gets to that level. What happens if we lose our PRV? The pressure is now going to go over six bar and carry on rapidly rising as the temperature rises. As you can see, we're now at seven bar. Our TMP valve is releasing the pressure. Now we will turn on our safeties again. So we'll put our PRV back into play. And as you can see, our pressure has gone down to six bar as our PRV is now reducing the pressure down to that level. If we turn our expansion vessel back on, this goes down just a little bit more as it's taking up the expansion. Now we will take off the bypass and put our pressure reducer back on. If we run a tap, our pressure will then go back down to three and a half and everything is working fine. We'll turn the heat source off. Everything is back safe and sound. So that's our three tiers of safety. Make sure you test them, make sure they're installed properly. Make sure they have the tiers, not you.